Uh, we're at the Canadian National On-Road Championship here in Welland. And where are we? Seaway Mall. Seaway Mall. We're going to get right to the action, folks. Stick around. This is going to be a lot of fun. Compete with this guy? No, no one competes with this guy. <laughs> I'm here with Mark Frechette at the Seaway Mall in Welland for the Canadian On-Road Nationals. Mark, why don't you tell me what's going on today? Uh, Jody, today going on is the Canadian On-Road Nationals. It's our sixth year now in the Seaway Mall. We have 265 entries this year and we have two guys actually came from BC, a couple from Calgary, I think it was Edmonton. Then we also have one out of California and quite a few out of Quebec. We have seven different classes. We changed it up a little bit this year too. We put a spec tire, so Gravity RC came in. And Paul Lemieux is actually here from Gravity RC, so he came from Milwaukee. So all the cars in Touring Car now are running on the same tire. So everyone has to come in and get their tires spec, so it puts it more a little even playing field. So what sparked a new interest this season? Actually, you guys, RC TV. Many, many people have seen it on there, and it's, it brought more interest to the mall race. And then also online and pictures and other racers talking to other racers. So now they're saying even next year they're going to tell a friend and hopefully we get some, actually some other new faces. I'm here with the family, obviously. This is your brother, George. Yes. This is Ronnie. This is David. You guys all race together. Go out there. This is a family thing. Get those kids off those video games. Get rid of the Xbox and Nintendo. Yes. Get the kids out here learning tools. Yes. You know, learning, learning how to turn a wrench and everything. I mean, we have a tool here. Kids don't know how to use this stuff. I know how to use all tools. There you go. You hear that? He knows how to use every single tool. And he's only seven. Yep. There you go, and folks. And I play video games, which some video games help me learn. Yeah, there you go. Well, Jody, I've been told by a seven-year-old that some video games are okay. Jeez. Chad Desjardins. and Chad, it's been Hi, a while. Nick, how you doing, buddy? Last Welcome year, to see last you. year, I even got to sign his body this year. He asked me to do it. I'm so embarrassed. Your marshalling, what's what's all about the marshalling? What goes on here? What do you have to look out for? Basically, you got to look out for cars that crash into the boards, or if cars break down, you want to run out and flip them over. Now, does each racer have to do this? Yes. When you run your race, you have to marshal your next following race, and they very frown on if you don't. Yeah. And is, it, is, it, is this a lot of fun? I mean, a lot of people always ask me, you know, RC, you know, looks really complicated. It's a lot of, you know, there's, it's a lot of money, but is it a lot of fun to do it? Um, it, it? It's amazing fun. Like it's basically, I have Tourette's, so it helps me control my Tourette's because I concentrate a lot. Oh yeah, great. So these cars here, you can get into them complete for about anywhere from about three to $400 with remote car, Electronics and charger. And is it all carpet racing like this, or do you do outdoor stuff? As I do well the, the outdoor at a uh, Vineland Raceway. I do the uh, ten scale buggy, two wheel drive, four wheel drive, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to venture into eight scale. I think. Fred from Fred's Dynamic Hobbies. <laughs> As you see, they're tearing down the track here. We've uh, spent three long days of racing and met a lot of people that we haven't seen for a while. And we had some pro racers that uh, actually get paid to do RC. So they, they had like something like 40 uh, entries they didn't have last year. Uh, do you think uh, on-road's coming back? 
Well, it's definitely very popular. They have entry level class like the, the Mini, you know, where a few hundred dollars will get you going. Plus, they have also slower classes that are easy to, to drive, like VTA or a GT class, where they have low power but very good handling chassis, make it easier to learn how to drive and you get the feel of uh, the full racing. It's a lot easier for, for guys to get into it now than it was uh, five years, six years ago, isn't it? Yes, the, the kits, they come, uh, when you screw them together, they actually handle right out of the box. But of course, when you get into the racing, there's always the little secrets and black magic that people do. And that's sort of the fun. You get in with the guys and you learn all the little secrets to make that extra tenth of a second per lap. All right. Well, it sounds like uh, we should get down to that off-road race. Well, definitely. <laughs> all right. Maybe we'll see you there. So watch at rcottawa.com and uh, check it out. How you doing? We have a professional driver here. Now, how long have you been doing this in total? Um, about 16 years been driving. Not professionally, but professionally a good 10 years. Yeah. How did, how did that, you know, how did you get into being a professional driver? I mean, you know, when I, when I think of a professional driver, I think of Schumacher. I think of all the other guys that are, you know, big time in, uh, you know, real racing. Same with NASCAR and stuff. How did that happen? Uh, it was just something where, you know, I went to a couple of big events and was able to do pretty well at a... A fairly young age and um, picked up a couple sponsors and then if you're able to to consistently win then it's something that you can do that you can do start doing for a living and uh, I'm on my tail end of the career for sure but uh, yeah you know it's it's been great okay. you know? now what would you suggest to some of our younger viewers out there who would want to maybe get a sponsor like see say there's an up-and-coming kid and he's really doing well in a certain division of racing and he wants to uh, you know get a sponsor and maybe do this you know he's maybe 16 17 and he wants to spend 10 years in this hobby you yep. know getting up to your level what would you suggest to this, a guy like that um patience you know it's just nothing really just comes overnight you have to be really patient and kind of pay your dues and be consistent and you know in your performances and, um, and if you're able to do that pick up sponsors it's really easy you know and, and of course be helpful and try and be as nice as possible and everything yeah, like that nice. you know plan them out travel the events and try and get to the level to where you need to be and then it'll all fall into place so you're saying that you do you help out guys at races and stuff you see a guy a little struggling you walk if you have time do you walk up to him and say this is what you got to do to repair yeah for sure see folks that's what it's all about right as RCers we have to go out there and we have to help all the guys you know because I used to be an RC as well I used to race the Formula One cars with the Tamiya series and that's what I would do I see a young kid coming in and it puts a smile on my face because I know this is the next generation of kids coming up and everything Yeah, he beat you, didn't he? <laughs> Could be. We had a great time today, Jody. That was fantastic racing. Amazing. We saw kids out there racing, which blew me away. We saw some pros, right? We had yes. we had Paul Lemieux, fantastic guy. Fantastic. Man, I can't believe he does that for a living. I wish I did. That's a great job. It is, definitely. So you know what, folks? Make sure you go out to your hobby stores. On Road is coming back. There was a little lull about 10 years ago, but now it's coming back with the fury. Go join the clubs, right? Pick up your X-rays, your Yokohamas, all the different vehicles you can think of. Take care. Jody, where are you going? I'm going to watch the races. Okay, and I'm going to go watch the races too. Take care, folks.